From the start, Western U Optometry has been committed to developmental vision, children's vision, vision early in life, vision therapy. When we began the measurements of the optics of his eyes, we saw that the optics of his eyes were way off, or they were way out of range. And this light, it's called a retinoscope, showed a high level of farsightedness. There were some standardized tests of vision that we did that came out a little low. One of them that I've come to rely on is what I call visually guided reaching, which children start to do at about age three to four months. Anything we showed him, we have these targets that are shiny balls on the end of a stick. And boy, they are visually captivating and children will look at them and, and reach for them. He never did that. I believe it was because his vision was so blurred. He didn't know how to make the visual judgment about where to reach. So we diagnosed him with very high hyperopia, farsightedness that was way outside the normal range for a baby. We gave him a chance to self-correct over time, so we didn't prescribe glasses at that time. My philosophy in children like that is to give them uh, an extra dose of home activities that might normally occur in the household when parents play with their child to see if getting him to engage in visually guided activities, tracking, looking, following, reaching, will prompt self-correction. It did not. It did not, despite a very diligent effort on the mom's part. When he came back, he hadn't changed at all. And when a child doesn't change, that's a, it's a powerful sign that they're not going to, even if you keep waiting and waiting. So we prescribed glasses at that visit. Dr. Tassinari said once Levi began wearing glasses, he became more aware of his surroundings and more social. And as mom Erica said with his glasses, he's seeing the world clearly for the first time. The infancy program is a program of public benevolence where optometrists volunteer to be an infancy provider. And any child can have a eye exam with an infancy eye doctor at no cost, regardless of ability to pay, zip code, insurance, it doesn't matter. 